Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. Okay, how to import CSV files directly into Google Sheets. Up until I discovered this, we were doing the imports in Excel and converting them to Google Sheets. Why Google Sheets? Because it's easier to collaborate there with clients and also between myself and Erica and others who work with us. So bottom line, we wanted this process in Google Sheets and we've now got a way to do it. And the context of this is we do a lot of accounting for e-commerce clients, and we're always trying to do it in the most efficient way possible. And if you go into Amazon, you can get a summary, but that summary lacks so much detail in terms of all the fees and things that Amazon is doing to get you from the gross amount of sales that you had in the two-week settlement period and the net amount that you actually received from Amazon. So I don't rely on those. I pull the actual settlement report down from Amazon, and we bring it into here. Now, when you initially open up that settlement report, it's going to look like a big bunch of gobbledygook because it's just a text file, right? And you can't make a lot of sense out of it. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Import. And I'm going to just do a quick search. Uh, The key thing to do is to open the file and close it so it'll be in your recent files. Uh, And I I actually just renamed it. So it shows up in my recent files. Now, Google's very smart about this kind of stuff. So for the most part, you can probably leave the default settings here. But go through there. Make sure you understand them. Even the separator type, which if you've done this kind of thing in Excel, it's called a delimiter. But Google uses simple language. It's a separator, right? And then do we want to convert text to numbers and dates? Absolutely. So let's import the data. Okay. It imported successfully. We're going to open it. Okay, and now I'm going to take this file and just highlight the whole entire thing. Copy it right over into our settlement template, which is right here. I'm going to paste just the values. And I purposely pasted in including the headers because that helps me make, that helps me to make sure that it lines up in this template. Okay, now our test is we want to make sure the total for the settlement period comes in, 10,667. Let's go to the settlement summary. This may take a second to update. There it is. Because it's a big file. 10,667, 10,667. So in a click, I have a detailed settlement report that shows me the gross sales, which are in one of these sections here. Right, here's our gross sales. Sales total, 1908.59, and then look at all the different fees. And it's got it broken down by item. We don't need the fees broken down by item for accounting purposes. But you can see here, there's the Amazon shipping. Uh, We have the Amazon commission, goodwill, handling fees, inventory adjustments that they book. Uh, inventory removal that they charged for. And there's lots of different fees. This one's actually a relatively simple one. Bottom line is this is what we do because now this will take about another two minutes to prep for import into QuickBooks Online. So in two minutes, we'll have a very detailed sales receipt showing all the gross amount down to the net amount deposited and all the fees in between right there in QuickBooks Online so I can do accurate and detailed reporting for my clients. And that's what it's all about. It's about getting accurate and detailed reporting for our e-commerce clients and doing it quickly and efficiently so that we can get it done in real time and and we don't charge by the hour. So we want to get this done as, effic- as efficiently as possible. That's the name of the game for us. As always, if you uh, got any questions, concerns, comments, feedback, let us know. Share this if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, share it anyway. Somebody else you know would probably like it. I'm kidding, of course. But seriously, if you like it, share it. We can use the help. So uh, share it. Give us some love right here on YouTube. Uh, If you're on YouTube, check the description of the video for a link that will take you over to the blog post where you can read all about it. Sometimes I give you more details in the write-up than what I go over in the video. Always good to go over to our website and blog and check out some of the other great content that we have for you. As always, I hope you had some fun here, learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.